Hello friends. Uh, this is part two for chapter number three, synthetic fibers and plastic, class eight NCERT syllabus. Okay, friends. Uh, now, characteristic of the synthetic new topic is characteristics of the synthetics. Okay, and uh, here we already studied that all the synthetic fibers, all the synthetic fibers are manufactured, okay, but are prepared by the processing of raw materials of petroleum on a origin, petroleum on origin, in a number of ways, okay. So, the raw materials of petroleum origin are called petrochemicals, are called petrochemicals, right, but so, so characteristics, of, characteristics of the synthetic fibers, see, imagine that it is a rainy village, what kind of umbrella would you use and why? Synthetic fibers possess unique characteristics which make them popular trash materials. Okay, so in rainy day, in rainy day, we are not using umbrella made by the cotton umbrella, cotton clothes. Okay, so synthetic fibers will be used there. Okay, for trash materials, we are using trash material. Lots of uses of the synthetic fibers, right? So, dress materials also using for uh, also use uh, best use of these synthetic fibers and they dry up quickly. Why they dry up quickly are durable, okay? Durable and long lasting, less expensive, cost wise is also good and readily available and easy to maintain. Readily available, availability is also easy, okay? It's, Readily available and easy to maintain, you can maintain easily. So, perform the following activity here. Activity is given. Okay, so in this activity, uh, take two cloth pieces of the same size, roughly half a meter square each. One of these should be from natural fiber, and another will be synthetic fiber. You can take help of your parents and selecting this piece. You can take it, show the piece of the different marks. Okay, each containing the same amount of water. Okay, so take the pieces out of the containers after 5 minutes and spread them in the sun for a few minutes. Okay, so compare, so compare the volume of the water remaining in each container. Okay, so you will see that absorbing water by the cotton will greater than the fiber this uh, synthetic fiber clothes okay so it is a uh, it's so that it will not absorb much more water okay compared to natural fabrics okay compared to natural fabrics so this is a good use okay and another slots of this find out your, your uh, find out with your parents and about the durability cost maintenance of this fabric okay so you can also discuss with your parents and uh, lots of you see advantages of these synthetic fibers. Advantages of synthetic fibers. Lots of see synthetic fibers color resistance. Huh? Color resistance. Then mix. Do not black color when washed. Do not shrink when washed. Easily available. Okay. So lots of lots of benefits. Easy to maintain. Easy to wash and dry. Less expensive. Okay. More elastic. Then resistance to moth attacks, okay. It will be a resistance to moth attacks. Insects will be not attacks in the synthetic fibers. Okay. Stronger, okay, stronger also, tough and durable. So lots of uses, lots of advantages, lots of advantages to use the synthetic fibers. To use the synthetic fibers. Yes, there are also some disadvantages cannot absorb moisture this is sometimes this is also disadvantages okay in a summer in a summer we cannot wear the synthetic uh, clothes okay synthetic fiber clothes polyester it will be not good for in the summer so hence not good for summers when we sweat more cotton will be better cotton will be natural fibers will be fabrics will be better then catch fire easily this is disadvantages one first disadvantage is, is what? First disadvantage is what? It can be. It, see, it's a 
the water absorb moisture also is very small very less so we cannot wear the summer clothes uh, it, uh, we cannot wear the clothes of the synthetic fibers in the summer right then fire catch fire easily and dc equal to iron okay dc equal to iron so this three mainly are disadvantages for this synthetic fibers right bachcho huh? we already discussed before that uh, uh, we, why we are not using synthetic clothes in the kitchen we already uh, discussed this point that synthetic fibers melt on heating and if the clothes catch fire the fabrics made up of synthetic fibers will melt and stick to one's body okay so hence it's recommended that one should be not wear synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or laboratory right so it's not advisable to wear clothes synthetic clothes in kitchen and kitchen and laboratory right bachcho now next topic is five uh, plastic right so plastic we are using lots of things around us that are made from the plastic okay so what is plastic plastic is also polymer like a synthetic fiber and all plastics do not have the same type of the arrangement of the units okay in some it's linear whereas others are in a cross link okay so some are linear like chain type see in such this is the linear and see this one is a cross link arrangement this is a cross link arrangement this one is a linear arrangement linear arrangement so this is a uh, polymer and how polymer become how it's how it's bonded each other with monomer right we already discussed that lots of monomer are combined in a linear position it will be create a linear structure then if combined with a cross linked structure uh, cross linked and cross cross linked structure so it's a polymer it's become polymer after lots of monomer combined each other in a different way linear or a cross link so plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and size as you can see right in this figure see chair okay tissue glass okay okay bike toy okay so lots of design its shape and size can possible it's easy to manufacture how have you ever wear wonder how this is possible it's how is possible how it can be um, uh, create such type of difficult or complex set huh? so plastic articles are available in all possible sizes and size okay and therefore the fact is that plastic is easily moldable that is can be shaped in any form plastic can be recycled reused colored melt rolled into sheets or made into wires that is why it finds such a variety of uses so in exam they can ask why we are using plastic what is the benefit so these are the points the fact is that plastic is easily moldable okay it can be shaped in any form plastic can be recycled reused colored melted rolled into sheets or made into the wires right so lots of see lots of transformation or transformation is available it's a possible for plastic okay we can convert into we can make uh, wires we can make also sheets okay so that is why it finds such a variety of the uses see these are the uses these are the uses okay so plastic is a polymer you understand that right It's a synthetic fiber, okay, that uh, can be molded into different shapes. So the word plastic originates from the Greek word, Greek word plastikos, okay, plastikos, and which mean that can be molded in a shape. Plastic polymers can be different types of the arrangement of polymers. So these two are arrangement. So in exam, in exam, they can ask. which type of the arrangement in plastics monomers will be combined in a linear way or in a cross linked way right so these two are the arrangement of the plastic structure polyethylene 
okay poly plus ethene it's an organic compound so is an example of a plastic it is used for making commonly used polythene bags that you know now try to bend a piece of the plastic yourself can all the plastic articles can bend easily right so you will observe that some plastic articles can bend easily while some break when forced to bend very important things okay very important things okay so thermoplastic and thermo setting plastics are different so some plastic can bend easily some can with some will when you try to bend it will be break okay when you force apply force more right na okay so add hot water to a plastic bottle it gets deformed okay such plastic which gets deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastic so this is the definition what is thermoplastic thermoplastic is nothing that nothing that plastics which gets deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as a thermoplastic okay thermoplastic so thermoplastics are often used to manufacture toys manufacture toys combs and various type of the containers huh? various type of the containers so polythene and pvc are some of the examples of thermoplastics so these are used for manufacturing toys combs and various types of the containers okay and on the other hand to clear what is thermoplastics thermoplastics right so plastics which can be deformed and bend easily deform and bend easily such type of on heating right on heating the such type of the plastic non thermoplastics now we'll understand thermosetting plastics So on the other hand, there are some plastics which, when molded once, cannot be softened by heating. These are called thermosetting plastics. Thermosetting plastics. Again, this is the define. What? There are some plastics which, when molded once, when plastic will molded once, cannot be softened. Cannot be softened by heating. So these are called thermosetting plastics. Okay, here two examples are given. One is bakelite, and another is melamine. You heard this before. This was right, melamine, crockery, and such type of things. So bakelite is a poor conductor of a heat, poor conductor of the heat and electricity. Okay, poor conductor of the heat and electricity. So it is used for making the electrical switches. Right? Poor elect conductor of the poor electricity. It means it cannot pass heat. and electric 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 city in a uh, easy way in a good way okay so it's a poor conductor that's why it will be used to make a electric switches handles and various utensils okay etc so melamine is a this is the use of the thermosetting plastic right for bakelite is a thermosetting plastic now melamine it's also thermosetting plastic and is a versatile material it resist fire it will be resist fire and can be tolerate heat better okay heat better than other plastics so it will be tolerate heat better okay and resist fire so it is used for making a floor tiles right floor tiles and kitchenware and fabrics which resist fire you know the some plant industrial area some industrial area if this industrial area some industries are uh, uh, hazards of the fire okay so some fire safety person people are using or wearing that uh, fire resist clothes okay so they are using fire this apron will made from the fire resist fire fire resist of uh, uh, thermoplastic thermosetting plastics fibers okay so this is the use and shows the varieties use of the thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics are here see these are the use articles made of the thermosetting thermosetting plastics right and these are the thermoplastics and these are the thermosetting plastics okay clear so in a thermosetting uh, thermoplastic polyethylene and pvc are the examples okay and uh, 
It is commonly used for making plastic bags and the, I, the term is made up of the poly that I already said, many and ethyl is the monomer of the polyethane. Okay. And uh, another thing is, is thermoplastic and another thing is thermosetting. Okay. So for thermosetting there are two types using bakelite and melamine and it is Bakelite is what? It's a poor conductor of heat and electricity. So we are using for uh, making uh, electrical switches, right? Utensil, making handles, something like this. And for melamine, we can we are using as it's, it's uh, fire resistance. Okay, it, it can be tolerated fire heat. Okay, so they will use they will use for uh, floor tiles, you know, fabrics, uh, fabrics that resist fire and kitchenware. So this is a very important topic, exam point of view, okay, exam point of view is a very important topic. Now, plastics as a material of choice, right, plastic is a material of choice. So today we think of storing a food item, food item water, meat, pickles, dry food, etc. Plastic container saves most convenient, right. So this is because of their lightweight, number one, number two, lower price. So lightweight is very easy to carry. Number two, it's lower price or not costly. Good strength also, good strength also, and easy to handle. So easy handling. And being lighter as a compared to metals, plastics are used in cars, aircrafts, and spacecrafts. So it's there also in means cars, aircrafts, and spacecrafts also there is using plastics and the list is endless okay so the list is endless lots of plastic that we are using if we start counting articles like uh, slipper furniture decoration piece etc lots of things that we can say plastics are used there. okay now let us discuss the characteristic properties of the plastics okay so, so plastic is non-reactive it's very important very important. So, if very non-reactive, it will be react. It will not react with the air, moisture, water, right? So, it's very loss in matter. So, it's not a reactive. So, if not reactive, then it will be good. It will be better. So, we can handle easily. We can use without any. Uh, you know, sometimes metal is used. That it will be corroded. Rusting will be there, but with the uh, compare with the process with the moisture and air so something is not happened with the plastic so it will be great so you know that metals like iron gets rusted when left exposed to moisture and air exposed to moisture and air so when metal is contact with the moisture and air it will be rust but for plastics no but the plastics do not react with the water and air they are not corroded easily Corrode is the same thing, rush and corrode is in it. That is why they are used to storage various kinds of the material, including many chemicals, including many chemicals. Okay, so plastic is really characteristic, uh, uh, it's really fantastic. We can we are using plastic, that's why. Uh, plastic is light, strong, and durable, right. So talk to your parents and grandparents about the types of the bucket that we have used, uh, that were used in the past before. They were using metals, right? What is the material of the buckets of months you are using today? Obviously, plastics. So, what are the advantages of using the plastic container? So, since plastic container is very light, strong, durable, and can be molded into different shapes and sizes, different shapes and sizes. So. It is used for various purposes. Plastics are generally cheaper than metals. They are widely used in industries and for household articles. So, make a list of different kinds of the plastic content that you are using in daily life. Okay. So, what are the advantages? Main advantages are, but so we have to list for use or advantages of the plastics. Number one, plastics are lightweight second lower price third one good strength fourth one 
easy handling and non reactive and poor conductor of heat and electricity so these are the main advantages of the plastics right bachcho correct see plastics are poor conductor you are you have learned about the plastics are poor conductor of heat and electricity that is why electrical wires have plastic covering you know that electrical wires always covering with the plastic okay outside the cover of the electric wire inside it will be past maybe copper or aluminum matter will be there but cover with the plastic as it is as it is poor conductor of electricity and handle of a screw drivers are made of plastics because you cannot shock you cannot shock from, for, from the electric current okay so we are uh, handles of the screw drivers made from the plastic okay as mentioned about handles of frying pans you know frying pans in kitchen are also made of plastic why it is heat resistance why is plastic is heat resistance right bachcho okay. here more is is plastic find extensive use in the healthcare industry okay in the healthcare industry right and some examples of their use are the packaging of tablets threads used for stitching wound bounds okay syringes doctors gloves and number of medical instruments plastics are widely used in medical industry health care industries okay special plastic cookware is used in a microwave oven for cooking food in a microwave oven the heat cooks the food but does not affect the plastic per se okay this is the special plastic cookware okay and another is important that teflon is special plastic on which oil and water do not stick it is used for non stick coating on cookware okay so you have seen this non stick uh, non stick pan okay so this non stick pan as a layer of a teflon teflon will not stick not allowed to stick the oil and water on it okay even teflon is a different is more important characteristic that it will be uh, it will uh, spread it will spread the temperature in uniformly okay so when you apply the heat on the teflon it will be spread temperature uniformly so by for using teflon on a non stick pan it will be beneficial it will be very very useful right bachcha another is fire proof plastics all those synthetic fiber catch is fire easily it is interesting to know that the uniform and fireman of fireman have coating of melamine plastic to make them flame resistant right so fire men are using also fire proof plastics okay so this fire proof apron or the uniform for the fire men so examiner can ask give reasons like uh, buckets are made up of plastic these days why so plastic buckets are strong lightweight and do not rust right they can also ask backlight plastic is used to make electrical switches why because backlight is a poor conductor of heat and electricity huh? hence they would not would not give anyone to electric shock when someone touches the switches okay examiner can also ask why melamine is used to make crockery so melamine is a unbreakable fire resistance and tolerates heat better than plastics and it can be used to make a crockery that can hold hot liquids or dishes so in it bachcho to some questions also from means like uh, plastics are used in a cars aircraft and spacecraft why because plastics strong durable and lightweight and corrosion resistant so it's it, they are using in a aircraft spare cars spare cars and cars chemicals are stored in the plastic bottles why because plastics bottles are lightweight unbreakable corrosion resistant and are resistant to action of chemicals and they are suitable for storing chemicals less reactive okay so non stick coating of cookware what which type of the plastic use 
it is teflon okay insulating covering on wires which type of plastic use pvc right bachcho polyethylene bags which type of material is polyethylene polyethylene right and flame resistance uniforms from which type of material they use melamine okay so they can ask they can ask several such type of the question in exam now now plastics and environment plastics and environment so this is the very very hot issue in uh, in uh, this time that that world is worried about uh, pollution because of the plastics right so we are saying that in your area also lots of plastic bags and lots of plastic things are uh, creating uh, too much pollution around us right so when we go to the market we usually get things wrapped in a plastic or packet or packaged in a polythene bags right so that is one reason why plastic waste keeps getting accumulated in our homes and ultimately what happened plastic find its way to the garbage and disposal of plastic is a major problem major problem why a material which gets decomposed through natural processes such as action of bacteria is called biodegradable biodegradable okay so this is the natural process this is the this natural process to decompose the material okay by natural process by natural process with the help of bacteria and this by being biodegradable process will be tough for plastic materials so a material which is not easily decomposed by natural process is terms of non biodegradable biodegradable okay so what happened see this is the list this is the list this is the list that material that can biodegradable or convert into the into the convert into the simplest form in a particular time area see peels of the vegetable and fruits left over food stuff etc so it will be take to degenerate to degenerate one to two weeks one to two weeks right so nature of the material will be what it's a biodegradable biodegradable okay so this is the list paper 10 to 30 days it's also biodegradable cotton cloth 2 to 5 months also biodegradable wood 10 to 15 years wood 10 to 15 years it's also biodegradable wool and cloth about a year okay but we can say it's all no problem it's also biodegradable but tea aluminum and other metal cans will take 100 to 500 years it, it will be say it's non biodegradable plastic bags several years several years it's obviously non biodegradable okay it's obviously non biodegradable right bachcho so so environment problem because of plastics as plastics are non biodegradable okay so since plastic sends several years to decompose it is not environment friendly it causes environmental pollutions besides the burning process in the synthetic material is quite slow and it does not get completely burnt easily in the process it releases lots of poisonous fumes into the atmosphere cause air pollution how can this problem will be solved okay so this is the problem okay it's a very very serious problem for the environment for that created by the plastics pollution okay have you never seen have you ever seen a garbage dump where animals are eating garbage in the process of the eating and food waste any sort of materials like a polythene bags and wrappers of foods can you imagine the consequences the plastic material chokes the respiratory system of these animals right bachcho so this is very dangerous for animals once animals will eat this plastic 
or forms a uh, leaning to, uh, in the stomach and can be the cause of the death. So sometimes, sometimes uh, plastics by uh, uh, eaten by the animals it will be caused for for the uh, death. Okay. So the polybags care lastly throw here and there are responsible for the responsible for the clothing the brands okay clothing the brands means it will be clothed it will be clothed means water cannot drain easily from there so drains will be blocked and uh, sometimes we are very careless to throw the vapors and chips, vapors of chips, biscuit and other eatables of the road or in the park or picnic place okay so this is not good habit we have to manage we have we are a responsible series we are this a responsible person responsible civil civilian civilian of this country we have to we have to you know, care that we will not throw any plastics any plastics any plastic things here and there because it will be create lots of pollution and will be very harmful for others right so as a responsible citizen what measures do you suggest to keep public place clean and free the plastics so students you can suggest lots of things how we can manage such type of the plastic pollution problem okay so we learn here what is biodegradable and non biodegradable so what is biodegradable biodegradable means material which gets decomposed through natural process okay by bacteria action is called biodegradable and what is non biodegradable material which cannot be easily decomposed by natural process is called non biodegradable okay bachcho so this is the important point that we have to learn from here another point is another thing is avoid the use of the sea how to manage see what is the responsible way for us so avoid the use to of plastic as far as possible okay make use of bags made of the cotton or jute when you go to the shopping the biodegradable and non biodegradable wash waste should be collected separately and be disposed of separately okay so practice this in your homes can you suggest some other ways in which can you contribute towards reducing the use of the plastic materials okay so list out if good suggestions with you and it will be helpful to not for your home even society and country and world also so it is better to recycle plastic waste this is the best way we will use plastic which plastic that we can recycle it okay so it is better to recycle plastic waste most of the thermoplastics can be recycled so thermoplastic is okay we can use widely because it can be recycled make a list of items that can be recycled okay and however during the recycling certain coloring agents are added so this limits its use especially for storage of foods okay so as a responsible citizen three five are principal this is very important okay we have to follow as a responsible citizen five are principal which one reduce okay so we can we have to reduce the use plastic second reuse okay we can use same plastic bag same plastic container for different things recycle okay we are using plastics which can be recycled okay and for we will use this plastic can recover okay and refuse what recover and refuse we can recover from this recycle and recover the things okay and refuse so we will refuse the all all unmanners activity or such activities that is there provide the plastics they say okay this is the if any suggestion for the plastics use the plastic we can refuse that things 
so five are the principle are very important reduce reuse recycle recover and refuse so develop habits which are environmental friendly but okay friendly so these are the habits do not throw plastic bags in the water bottles bodies okay on the or on the road okay they will not throw plastic bags in water bodies you know that's quite any aquatic animals will be suffer take a cotton carry bags or a jute bag while going for shopping take a cotton carry bag or a jute bag okay so ever to use plastic bag try to minimize to use the plastic materials example use a steel lunch box instead of plastic one okay so this three important things that we can do easily if all will do all will be do it good practice then it will be beneficial for our environment for world environment right so five are principle we have to follow okay again i'm saying that refuse do not buy things we do not need okay we will refuse if you don't need don't buy refuse it reduce okay so minimize the use of the plastic in our daily lives we can then reuse reuse the items you already instead of the throwing the away okay and another thing is another thing is what recycle okay so some plastics waste can be sh sorted and made into the things in recycle factories this help us to reduce our carbon footprint right so we can reduce the pollution okay then recover or repurpose if we are not using something alter or change to use it differently okay use in a different way so this is very important it is very important reduce the pollution by this five r principle okay so bachcho this is the end of this chapter okay thank you very much